Are you experiencing tension on the outside of your hip or outside of your knee? Today, I'm gonna to show you a couple stretches to really target that IT band to help relieve tension along the side of that chain. Hi, I'm Daniel Giordano, Dr. Physical Therapy from Bespoke Treatments. Today, we're gonna to show you how to relieve tension on your IT band or improve flexibility of that IT band. What is the IT band? The IT band is a thick band of fascia that runs from the outside of your hip down to your knee and attaches right on the outside of that shin bone, okay? It forms from the TFL muscle or the tensor fascia lactate muscle, the glute medius muscle, and the glute maximus muscle. Those fascias come together and then form that IT band so it runs all the way down to the outside of your shin bone on the outside of your knee. What does the IT band do? The IT band mainly functions to extend your hip, abduct your hip, or laterally rotate your hip. If you're wondering if you should stretch your IT band, I highly recommend it for those who are runners, those who spend a lot of time doing lower extremity exercises, or even single leg impact athletes such as basketball players, soccer players, or even volleyball players. The first IT band stretch is gonna be a forward fold stretch. Okay, Vaughn's gonna take his left foot and cross it behind. We are now stretching this left side. He's gonna fold at his hips and reach to the ground, okay? For a warm up, what we're gonna do is hold this for two, three seconds, then come on up and then repeat for about 10 to 15 times. However, if you're gonna do this after your activity, we're gonna hold at this bottom part for about 30 seconds, feeling the stretch all through the outside of that leg from the knee all the way up to the hip. The second IT band stretch is going to be a lateral stretch using a wall or a chair for support. Vaughn's gonna walk over to the wall, put his hand on the wall, really use that wall to stabilize yourself. It's gonna take the foot closest to the wall, cross it behind, and then he's just gonna lean his hips towards the wall, really feeling the stretch on the top of the hip closest to the wall that supported surface. This is gonna target the top of the IT band near where that glute medius and TFL come together to form that fascia. And then come on up and then repeat. Push the hips towards the wall. For a dynamic or pre warm up activity, we would do three second holds and come back up and do about 10 to 15 reps. Or for post-activity, we would hold it down here for 30 seconds and do three sets of those. The next stretch for the IT band is a floor stretch using a towel. Vaughn's gonna roll his towel up, make sure you have a long towel, just wrap it around the foot. And then what he's gonna do is just lie on his back on the floor. Okay. Once we're in this position, we wanna make sure that the opposite leg is grounded to the floor, so make sure that heel's pushing into the floor. And then what he's gonna do is just let that leg come down towards me here across the body. And he's gonna feel the stretch on the top of that IT band, okay? A great way to make sure that you're staying still and your body's not moving on the ground is take that hand and actually grip the ground with it so your body doesn't roll too far over to the other side. For a dynamic stretch as a pre warm up, he's just gonna hold it for a few seconds, come back, and repeat 10 to 15 times. However, if you're that runner and you're super sore at the end of your workout, this stretch is a great way to reduce soreness before your next run. Three sets of 30 seconds I recommend after your exercises. The next stretch for the IT band is also done on the floor. We're gonna have our feet a little wider than our hips down on our back in kind of in the bridge position. He's gonna take his right foot and cross it over his left knee. What he's gonna do is actually use this right foot to pull down that left knee towards the ground. He's gonna feel that stretch right at the top of the IT band, right really where that TFL muscle is, and then come back up. For a pre warm up, I recommend going down and holding these for about three seconds, doing 10 to 15 reps. Or for a post activity exercise, we like to hold it at the end for 30 seconds and do three sets of that. Make sure you're not stretching into pain on your hip. You really just wanna feel it right around this top part of this IT band to try to decrease any tension on the fascia at the proximal attachment point. Remember, never stretch into pain. Stretch until you feel that stretch, but if you're stretching too far, it may cause pain. Or if you have extreme soreness or extreme pain in the IT band, I would recommend not stretching the IT band and instead contacting your local physician or physical therapist so they can assess the pain. So use these IT band stretches to help improve your performance or decrease soreness before your next workout.